Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Saturday. I'm down at the south end of Del Norwegian's Pass, down in Area 1 on the boardwalk. Look at the colors out in the Gulf this morning. Look at that sky. Absolutely, absolutely incredible this morning. Look at that. There's a thunderstorm just offshore, moving up the coast. Every once in a while, I've been seeing some flashes of lightning out there. Just absolutely incredible out there this morning. I've got to take a quick photo of that before it disappears on me. Bear with me here for one minute. Sorry about that. It's going to disappear in the blink of an eye here. It's already, the colors are already starting to fade in just a matter of minutes. Red sky in the morning. Sailors take warning. Well, red seems to be red was the color of the day. Red tide warning still in effect here. Sadly, Another empty beach, thanks to the red tide. Well, I do see a pelican flying by out there, one pelican. Hmm. There comes another one following behind it. And actually, there's a group of pelicans flying by out there. So the pelicans haven't left because of the red tide yet. They're still out there. Was seeing some lightning out there up in this cloud up here let me just hold here for a minute see if we see any lightning there look at those colors i did see a couple little flashes of lightning out there earlier how calm that water is. Well, our friend Roy got home yesterday. He got home yesterday afternoon. He had a doctor's appointment he had to go to. He got released around 1130 yesterday. Then he had a doctor's appointment and had to Get some grocery shopping done. Jennifer Ann took him grocery shopping. Now he's back at the house. So good news for Roy. Roy is out of the nursing facility. And back in his own home. Well, of course, when I point the camera out there, it's not going to lightning. Well, let's check on the beach here. See if there's any dead fish out here from the red tide. Again, red tide warning still in effect out here. Oh my goodness. Eels. Eels all over the place, dead eels. All over. Here's one half buried in the sand. Eels all over the beach. I mean, 
Oh, they're still crawling around, some of them. Oh, washed up on the beach. Look at all these eels. There's three right there. More. An eel over here. Eels. These are all eels, dead eels because of the red tide. Here's something. Here's something we don't see a lot of. There's a, a flounder. It's actually, it was still moving. There's another eel washing up on the beach. Nah, the flounder's dead. These fish are all paralyzed from the red tide. Nothing can be done to really save them. So sad, that eel's on its way to dying right there. And then out in the water, yeah, the water's definitely dirty. You can see there's a big a blue crab there, just eating the dead fish on the bottom. There's a couple blue crabs over there, right there. Sadly, they'll eat the dead fish and probably die themselves. These are all, these are all crabs down here, all these little dark spots. Those are all crabs. Another flounder down here. Oh, that one was alive. Okay. Lots of flounders right along. Here's another flounder right down here. We'll see if it takes off. Oop, and an eel just swam by me. These are all all crabs buried, little baby crabs buried in the sand here. There's larger ones. But there's eels just washing up on the beach. Actually, there's a crab and an eel. You see it right up? Oh, there goes the eel. There's crabs and eels actually beaching themselves. Huh, oh, one just shot out from shot out between my feet. Not not a good morning to be out here. Disgusting and sad. Dolphin out there. Well, that's a good sign. A dolphin just surfaced out there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. It's moving up to the north. And there was some lightning. A dolphin just came up out behind me. See him out there? A couple of them. Two or three of them out there. Even with all this mess on the beach, there's some dolphins out there. So there's still some hope. Where'd they go? There they are. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. Five dolphins. Did you see them all pop up there? Wow. Let's see if we can follow them up the beach. I don't want to step on these eels. The eels are all over the place this morning. I cannot make it up the beach here. I got to watch where I'm walking. I can't watch the water. It's sad. The dolphins are making their way up the beach. A whole pod of them. A whole bunch of dolphins. Look at them. What a beautiful sight. Even with this red tide out here, the dolphins are still out there. Surprise they're out here in this dirty water. The pelicans in the back. They're way up the beach there. 
way up the beach now. That's Fort Myers Beach you see in the background. The dolphins in the foreground. They're all the way up to area four already. Wow, that was fun seeing them. Probably see them pop up one more time there. They're coming up to the sandbar up there in area four. Of course, I'm not up there. I decided to start in area one today. What a shame. Look at them all up there. A whole pod of dolphins, five dolphins, beautiful. It was a gorgeous sunrise this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Colors are all starting to fade. Those dolphins might turn around and make their way back. I see one of our rangers checking something out on the beach. That's not a good sign up ahead of me. Ugh, these darn eels are everywhere. I'm stepping on eels as I walk along on the beach. They're not dead. They're gonna be dead soon, but they are everywhere. It is horrible, absolutely horrible. They're all over the water, all in the water, all along the shore. Eels and little baby flounders. There's an eel, a dead eel. Here's a baby flounder over here. Here's a dead flounder. So, so sad. It's not quite dead, but it's on its way to dying. Buried itself in the sand there. Crabs. These are all crabs, these dark spots, all crabs out in the water. Eels swimming around by them. Another flounder. See if it comes to life when I put it in the water here. Yeah, it buried itself. Maybe put it out in a little deeper water. I don't know. So sad. I mean, they're just everywhere. The flounders, the eels, the crabs. Dead fish floating on the bottom. That's why the crabs are here. They're eating the dead fish. There's a bigger flounder with the crab walking right over top of it. The little baby crabs. This... Eels. The big thing is the eels all over the beach. This red tide is relentless. It's supposed to be very, oh, 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 oh. A little beauty there, some pelicans going by. A little beauty. We did see some do a pod of dolphins a little earlier. We have seen pelicans. But sadly, the big story is, yes, red tide is still here. We can see what it's doing on the beach here. We haven't seen many dead fish. Some dead flounder. Here's a dead crab washing in. Dead crabs because they're... Oh, well, no, actually, this is a live crab. And it's just drifting in and out of the surf. And it I don't know if it's mating. It has a little crab underneath it. It's two crabs right there. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if they're mating. I don't know if the reason they're all here is it's mating season or what. Well, there's two crabs, and I think they're mating. <laughs> they're stuck together there. Wild. Something else there. Oh, they just went rolled around upside down. They're still together. Just washing in and out of the waves here. Well, there's a little fish swimming by. Where did it, see if I can catch it next to an eel. Yeah. 
I'm zoomed in. It was hard to catch it. Let me zoom back. There was one live fish just swam by here. There are dead fish kind of bobbing around on the bottom there. Still absolutely disgusting. The water's gross. You can see the eels swimming along here. There's one down there. There's two of them. They're all over the beach down here in area one. And all these dark spots, all these little black things in the water are crabs, little tiny crabs. All those little black spots are crabs. What is their fate? I don't know. I don't know what their fate is with this red tide. There's a dead bat fish over here on the beach. More eels on the beach. Why are all these eels beaching themselves? I mean, they're just all up along the beach. Why are these eels beaching themselves? They're just coming all along the shoreline here. I know it has something to do with the red tide and they're beaching themselves. So sad to see all this death out here. And the flounders. A lot of people don't realize how many flounders we have out here. Here's a flounder right here. Is it still alive? I don't know, there's its two eyes up there in the front. That's a little baby flounder. It's probably dead, but those two little bumps in, to the left, that's its eyes. They just bury themselves in the sand. You can see how well camouflaged they would be in the sand. See if this one's still got any life in it. Yeah. It buried itself in the sand. Maybe I'll scoot it off into a little deeper water there. Look at that, you can barely see it down there. Barely see it buried in the sand right there, the flounder. There's the big, the big problem though. Look at all these eels. Look at them all. The beach is just lined with dead eels. I don't know who would want to come out here. Pfft. Not a pleasant day to come out to the beach. I guarantee you that. Nobody wants to swim with these things. Nobody wants to swim in the red tide anyway. It stinks out here. Not the horrid red tide smell, it just stinks of like dirty water out here. And the NOAA red tide chart says, very, it says low, very low red tide here in North Naples right now. Central Naples, I'm sorry, it's uh, low in North Naples. Central Naples, very low. Scary, huh? How quick things turn around. Just a few days ago, I was out here, it was absolutely gorgeous. We were enjoying the beach, taking beautiful pictures. Now we come out here and it's another another morning of death on the beach there's another flounder you can really see what a flounder looks like its eyes on the left this one's pretty stiff here Let's see if it comes to life no that one just stayed on its back all the crabs moving in here all these black specks, the beach is just lined with crabs. 
crabs and eels. Crabs and eels. I'm just, this is the most the eels I've seen on this beach. These are, look at them all. All dead eels. It's horrible. This flounder's alive here, sort of. There's a shrimp. Did you see that? A shrimp just came right up. I've never seen a live shrimp along the shoreline. That's a shrimp right there. Unbelievable. The craziness here. All the little crabs and a shrimp. I think this red tide's got everything screwed up. And there's an eel just swimming up. Absolutely horrible. I'd like to know what it looks like on the beach to the south of us here. Just a little further south down Vanderbilt, Park Shore, down to the pier. What is with all the crabs? I mean, all of these dark specks you see, these are crabs, little crabs, medium crabs, big crabs over here. I know crabs are the bottom feeders, they eat the dead fish. There's really not a lot of dead fish along the beach here. What's driving all of these crabs up onto the beach? Shrimp, dead shrimp on the beach. This isn't somebody's bait. There's a dead shrimp. There's shrimp washing up on the beach. I have never seen this before. I've seen just about everything out here dead on the beach. But all these shrimp everywhere. Just horrible, 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 horrible. They're everywhere. The eels swimming by. Are all these crabs gonna die from eating all this contaminated fish, the dead fish, the dead shrimp, all this dead marine life on the bottom? What's the fate of all these crabs? Eels, just everywhere. Here's one that buried itself in the sand, its head just sticking out of the sand down here. They're just beaching themselves here. Flounders all over. There's a, a flounder probably on its way to dying right there. All the little crabs. More flounders out there. There's a flounder over there. There's a bigger flounder out there. Flounder all along the shoreline. How horrible. How horrible. I mean, what's crazy is we saw earlier, we saw a, a big pod of dolphins swimming up the beach. We saw, I think, at least five dolphins in a pod swimming up the beach earlier. Just amazing. Ugliness like this out here. And what the heck is this? What is that thing? What is that thing on the beach? I have never seen. Oh, I can't flip it over. What is that? Anybody know what that is? What is that thing? I have no clue what that is. Some kind of crustacean. 
What the heck is that? That is wild looking. Anybody know what that is? <laughs> lobster. It's one ugly lobster. <laughs> what the heck is that? Wow. I've been seeing some weird things out here this morning. Weird things. I came out here, got out to the end, end of the boardwalk, and it was beautiful out here this morning. Absolutely beautiful. I couldn't believe how gorgeous it was, the sky. And I said, well, let's go down the water. I know there's red tide. Let's see if there's any dead fish. Oh my Lord. What an eye opener this morning. Now there's not, the crabs have thinned out. There's not a lot of crabs up here like there was to the south of me. Just a little bit to the south, that water, remember? We just saw all those little black spots. Not out there now. Still seeing some crabs on the beach. There's a dead crab over here. An eel, another eel just kind of washed up and beached itself here. Right next to a little flounder. Why is that red tide? What's it doing to these eels to make them come up on the beach like this? So here's another one. See it burying itself in the sand? See how it did that? It just goes in tail first. And just their heads are sticking out along the shoreline here. If they're not dead. Still seeing a few crabs out there, not as many as before. This red tide, it's, you know, it's in pockets along the beach. I mean, you might come across an area on the beach where there's just hundreds and hundreds of dead fish. Then they stop and you go a couple hundred yards and they start up again. So you just never know. I see dead fish floating all out here in the water. Here's the crabs again. Now there's the crabs are starting up here. There's some more, these little black spots are all crabs. Big blue crab over there. Are all of these creatures gonna be dead soon? Probably. So, so sad. crabs there's there's your answer there's a dead crab right there they're gonna eat this contaminated fish and there's the result so sad that our marine life is going through this Hopefully, hopefully, scientists will be able to figure out a way to stop this red tide and Lord knows what else is out here in the water. We have done a good job at screwing things up, that's for sure. So sad seeing this stuff on the beach, but I'm gonna show it to you. Because if you don't know about it, if you want to just pull a blanket up over your eyes and pretend it doesn't exist, nothing's gonna change. Here's two crabs, are they mating? We saw that earlier. Are they fighting, mating, dying? Maybe it's mating season. Maybe that's why the water is just full of crabs here. Maybe it's just coincidental that they're all up along the shore during the red tide. But the water is definitely disgusting looking. You can see that. 
There's another flounder on the beach. Just, is it alive? I don't think so. Put it out in the water. Nope. If it was alive, it would have buried itself in the sand. <sighs> Man. We were doing so good a couple weeks ago here, and the wind shifted on us. Now we're back to death on the beach. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Well, Roy is not missing anything. I know he wants to be out at this beach so bad, but he is not missing anything, and he should definitely not be out here in this red tide. The dead eels all over the place, all over the beach. And something I've never seen. Piles of shrimp just washed up dead on the beach. Piles of shrimp. Horrible. No fishermen gonna be out here, I can assure you of that. No fishermen are gonna wanna come out here. I don't even know why there's any birds out here. This is just horrible. All these eels dying out here. Put them in the water, it's sure death. They're dead no matter how you look at it. Then we look out in the water. You see those little black specks out there in the water? One over here. Hard to see here in this angle, but there's dead fish floating all out there in the water. Slowly washing into shore here. Let's see if I can zoom in on a couple of them here. That's dead fish floating out in the water there, folks. If anybody tells you there's no red tide here, they're full of crap. We're just a couple miles north of the La Playa Beach Hotel. I'd be interested to know what their beach looks like out there. You can see those dark spots. Those are dead fish in the water. Not good for tourism. Not good for tourism at all. Well, I don't know what it's going to take. I know they're trying some things. I mean, they're looking into solutions and blah, 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 you know, yada, yada, all that crap. But I guess when Florida's economy just plummets, maybe that's, maybe our waters are gonna get the attention they deserve. I don't believe one word that comes out of any politician's mouth any of them. I don't care what they're saying, the ones running for election. Personally, I think they're all a bunch of windbags. They'll say anything to get elected. There's fish floating out there. Google red tide. If you want to know what red tide is, there's plenty of articles about red tide. Simply Google red tide. Learn all about it. We've got several problems with our water right now in Southwest Florida. Down to the south here in Collier County, we're dealing with red tide up to the north of us in Lee County and all the way up to Tampa. Tampa's got some red tide going on, but with, up in Lee County, they've got this horrible blue-green algae that they're dealing with. And that is extremely toxic. 
But this morning at our beach here at Del Nor Wiggins, this is the big story. Dead eels, or eels beaching themselves. A lot of them not dead, they're on their way to dying, just beaching themselves. Dead fish floating around in the water. All these dark spots down here, these are all crabs. We saw way more than this earlier when we started our beach walk this morning. Are they, is it mating season or crabs? Are they breeding now? What's the deal? Why are there so many crabs? Does a red tide, did it force them all to the shore? They're not dead. They probably will be. That's just me saying that. But see the dead fish floating out there. Those are dead fish out there. Probably bat fish. Look like they're upside down. It just breaks it, it just breaks my heart to see this. I love my beach here. I love my beach. I love the wildlife, the animals. And to see. All of these dead creatures on the beach is heartbreaking. And then inside, knowing inside that man definitely has something to do with this. It is our fault. Somehow it surely is our fault. So, so sad. But I, I'm telling you, you don't want to be out at the beach. There's no reason to come out to the beach here in North Naples today. Not even to come out and gawk and look. I'm showing you. You don't have to be out here. You can see it, watch the video. There's a school of fish right there swimming around. But yet, yeah, look at the color of the water and look at the dead fish floating in the water. There was some big crazy fish. I don't know what it was just swam by. I don't know what it was. It looks like a butterfly. I don't know what the heck it is. I have never... There are things out here that I have never seen before washing up to the shore. There was this big thing. It looked like a butterfly flying around in the water down here. It's right down here. I have no clue what it was. I can't get it to focus because it's underwater. Darn it. Will it focus? No. Sorry. It looked like a, a giant moth. It looked like it had wings. The weirdest thing. I wish it'd scurry up there, swim, swim away there, but just kind of buried itself in the sand. Maybe it's a batfish. Maybe it was a batfish. But it's right there. It's kind of just sitting on the bottom. I really don't want to go in the water. I'm not, I'm not too worried about the red tide. I'll wash off though. I'll wash off with soap. I'm not too worried about the red tide, but it's all the other little critters out here. All these crabs and the eels. There's eels just swimming all around. There's a, a flounder on its way to dying. Another flounder. These are all little baby flounders. There's some good sized flounders just offshore here. But again, shrimp, little, little baby shrimp, dead shrimp from dead from the red tide. First time I've ever seen that here during the red tide. My own experience, I'm sure they've been out here. This is the first time I've seen them during one of my beach walks. And there's an eel right next to me here, buried in the sand. See it right there? Just horrible. 
all these dead eels. Has anybody done some Googling while I've been out here to find out why all of these eels are washing up on the beach, why they're beaching themselves? I mean, they're not doing anything to swim back. They're just swimming up on the shore and dying. There's a fish swimming by, a live fish. How long is that going to be alive? How long is that poor thing going to survive? There's another eel coming by me. This, is it gonna wind up on the beach? Why are they coming up on the beach? Why don't they stay out in the water? And that one turned around. You can see the crabs, there's another eel. Dead fish floating by. What a sad beach walk this morning, huh? Sad beach walk. Look at, look at the fish floating out here. Those are batfish. That's what they are. Those are batfish. They're probably on their way to dying all right down here in front of me. See how they look like butterflies? Look at them, that's a batfish right there. We've seen them dead all over the beach. That is a batfish on its way to dying. But you can see its wings, why they call it a batfish. Pretty, pretty interesting fish. Sad to know it's on its way to dying down there. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. There's a dead one right there. A dead flounder over there. A dead batfish. Most of these are batfish floating out here upside down. The red tide seems like the red tide kills things at different levels. It works in, in layers in the water. It's like, why do we see all the dead batfish? Why are we seeing the dead flounders floating around? The eels, these are all things that are on the very, very bottom right now that we're seeing. The shrimp, and then the crabs that are just all over the beach. All these dark spots are crabs out here. For the eels just floating up on the beach, not even doing anything. They're like, they're paralyzed from the red tide. Birds certainly are not gonna eat these things. I hope they don't. I don't see many birds out here. I see a couple lone birds walking along. Very sad. All of the birds that we've been seeing. There's a crab just barely alive down there. It's 
some bat fish. These are all, these are all bat fish. Every last one of those dead fish are bat fish. Sorry, I just needed to snap a quick photo there. I'm sorry if you were tuning into this beach walk, hoping to see a beautiful beach this morning. But the purpose of my beach walks here are to inform and educate. Educate people about what's going on with our waters up here in North Naples. And sometimes it's not a very pleasant morning like this morning. Here's another bat fish. Swimming around there, a crab, a dead fish, an eel swimming by there. does it look like as we go further north? Does it get worse? Does it get better? Lots and lots of eels down here. Lots of them. Crabs, batfish, and eels. horrible out here. The one thing though is I'm not getting that that really strong toxic you know odor that makes it hard to breathe from the red tide. It's not overpowering out here. Not that that really matters. but at least I can breathe. Unlike these poor fish and eels out here. By the way, we're up in North Naples, Florida at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. If anybody, if you're ever watching a live feed on Facebook and you're wondering where it's coming from, Click the little red live button. Just click on that. And if the person doing the live feed knows how to do a live feed, they'll put the location where they're at and it'll show up when you click that little red live button. A lot of people just go live and that's it. They don't put any descriptions or anything. They leave you wondering where you're at. Look at the eels. I do believe it's some kind of, it's mating season for crabs. We see, I see a lot of them hooked together out here in the water. It's just so sad. You gotta watch the beginning of this morning's beach walk. Watch the replay at the conclusion when I end this live feed. I came out here and the sky was absolutely incredible. It was beautiful. Beautiful pink clouds, pink orange clouds. I, know there, I knew there was red tide all along, but I said, ah, let's go take a walk down by the beach and see if there's any dead fish. And did I ever, ever get a big surprise? I wasn't expecting eels, <laughs> dead eels lining our beach. Dead fish I've seen plenty of times, but now it's dead eels. They're just coming, they're swimming along the shore and they're just washing up on the beach. 
They're not doing anything to swim back in the water. This one, nah, that one's trying. Well, it's burying itself in the sand. It's got a big bite out of it, too. See how it, they bury themselves tail first? Those are all little baby crabs, those little black dots. I keep telling you that, but I know there's people coming and going out here. There's batfish burying themselves in the sand and dying. There's flounder. We've seen a lot of flounders, little baby flounders out here. That's a batfish swimming around right. Let's see if I can zoom in. Darn it, every once in a while the screen locks up and I can't zoom in. There's a flounder right down there. That dark spot, that's a flounder. All the little crabs, the eels swimming by. Batfish. There's two batfish. There's a batfish there, a batfish there. See how it looks like a big butterfly? Hang on a second. Try that. I can't get... And there goes the batfish. I want to give you a look at a batfish, but I don't want to go stand in that water. Here's one right here. Just swam up to the beach. Uh, that's a batfish. Crazy looking, crazy looking fish. A flounder coming in and out there, a little baby flounder. We've seen lots of them, the eels swimming around. Just take some time and check out my video here. You're going to see all these things I'm talking about. Is that a t maybe a toadfish over there? It looks like maybe. Big. There's an ugly looking thing right over there. Ugly looking. Ugh. I've seen a couple weird things out here. Here's a batfish down here. See it down there? Right in the center of the screen. Two of them, side by side. I don't wanna get step on these eels. All these fish are probably on their way to being dead here. Flounders all buried out there. So, so sad. It's horrible. Some ugly looking fish. <laughs> wow. Yeah, death does make us appreciate life, that's for sure. I actually see somebody on the beach with an umbrella. <laughs> They're way up on the beach, far from the water, thankfully. I know there's gonna be people out here just coming to see what it looks like. I mean, it is a sight. Seeing all these eels is definitely a sight. I have never seen this before in all the years I've been coming out here. 
but it's a sad sight. Having a really good idea of what their fate probably is. Sad. I mean, I just see fish all out there offshore, dead fish now. Now that the sun's coming up, all offshore floating out there. It's probably making their way into the beach here. See those white spots out there? That's dead fish. All over as you look out into the Gulf. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news here, but I want you to see what's going on here. Hopefully, when people watch videos like this, they get mad enough and they do something. Hopefully it turns into activism. Now look at this, here's a giant school of fish right here. Catfish, it looks like. Look at that. That's a huge, huge school of fish right here. I believe they're catfish. Bottom feeders, lots of dead marine life on the bottom. That's all catfish there. So what happens to them when they eat the fish that were affected and died from the red tide, the red algae? I'm guessing they're gonna die if they eat them. These look fairly young. That's the most life we've seen here at the beach. Besides the crab, look at them all swimming around. There's a bull cat coming in. I gotta snap a picture, hang on. I apologize for that interruption there. I know it knocks off like 100 people just get cut off there, but. I like taking photos to document what I'm seeing out here. And right down at my feet, the crab just washed up on the beach. Another dying or dead crab. So sad, so, so sad. All these little catfish out here, just vacuuming up the dead fish from the bottom. You can see a little dead eel floating there in the water. A couple dead batfish over there. Live eels swimming by here. Oh. It just hasn't changed. So far, the entire beach, it's the same story. Eels on the beach, eels in the water, crabs, flounders, batfish. So, so sad. And the catfish, now the catfish. Nature's janitors all along the shoreline here. Look at them all. Swimming amongst the dead fish.
do some research, Google red tide, so you know what we're talking about, what we're dealing with here. Those are crabs lined up out there. Where are they? Those are big crabs lined up out there. Four in a row. Somebody, if you want to be nice here, every once in a while in the comments, throw up a link to some articles about red tide for some of our newcomers, some of my faithful followers here. Although this is not pleasant circumstances here, please let everybody know where you're watching from. Introduce yourself. I promise you we do, we do have nicer days here. We do have some beautiful, beautiful beach walks. I mean, I said it earlier, I've said it a few times this, this morning. Started out beautiful as I was walking out the boardwalk. Absolutely, incredibly, incredibly beautiful sky this morning. Came out to the beach, boom, started seeing dead eels, dead flounders. Then, all of a sudden I look out and there's a pod of five dolphins swimming offshore. So I kind of followed them up the beach for a little ways. That was beautiful. I mean, dolphins. It's always, I always look at the dolphins. When I see the dolphins in the morning, I look at them as a good luck, a good luck sign, a good luck charm. It means I'm going to have a good day. I still might. Well, the beach isn't having a good day, though. These are all crabs, these dark spots out here, all crabs. A lot of you are following our friend Roy. Quick little note, he did come home yesterday. He is at home. I don't know what he's doing this morning. I'm gonna to try to touch base with him later today. Look, here's another school of the catfish. Just making their way down the beach, up and down the beach. Cleaning, cleaning the sand here, cleaning the bottom. Well, you definitely don't want to be eating any fish you catch out here, that's for sure. Look how dirty the water is. It is just, it'd be interesting to get a drone up in the air and see what it looks like. Oh, I hate seeing this. I hate seeing this. These are my favorite little guys here. This one's just clinging to life here. These are my favorite crabs, these calico crabs. This one's just barely hanging on here. A leopard crab, a calico crab. They are such beautiful crabs. To see them dying, this is a little baby. They are the most beautiful. They have the most beautiful shells. Sadly, that one doesn't have much time left, I'm sure. Ugh. There's some, the catfish are just, it's amazing how many catfish are coming up the beach here. It's not amazing. I mean, there's plenty of dead fish. Ugh, an eel just swam up over my foot. Get up on higher ground here. I don't know if you can see the catfish there. It's not quite over the trees here where I'm at. For those of you watching, 
Except it was Florida Television is not a TV station. It's just a Facebook page here of mine. Nobody pays me to come out and do these beach walks. I enjoy it, although I don't enjoy it as much on days like today. But I like keep, keeping people informed about what's going on here in the waters up in North Collier at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. That is a big eel right there. That's a fat one right there. Hmm. They're just all over the beach, these eels. Eels, crabs, shrimp, little baby crabs all around here. But as I was saying, I love coming out here. Uh, hopefully I'm educating people. I'm not doing this for shock value. I'm doing it to educate people. But if anybody wants to make a little contribution, it always comes in handy. Some people think I'm getting rich doing this. People think tons of people are donating. No, that's not the case. I mean, you know, five bucks, 10 bucks here, you know, whatever, you know, it all goes towards the phone bill. Phone bill and gas. And I do try to travel around once in a while, hit some other locations. But for the most part, I hang out here at Del Norwegian's. So if anybody wants to help out, I appreciate it. And you'll be able to see my PayPal account info a little later at the conclusion of this feed in the description of this video. Oh, it's not getting any better as I go north. That's for sure. It's pretty much the same ugly sight all the way up the beach. All of our bottom feeders, it seems like, are being affected by this bout of red tide. I mean, crabs. Look at all the little crabs. Can you see the little crabs on the beach? Little crabs. Some bigger crabs. Oh, there's a bigger one over there. And as far as the fish kill, it looks like lots and lots of batfish. You can see some floating out there, little batfish. I've seen the big, big batfish, smaller ones. You can see they're all on their bellies with their bellies, their white bellies turned up. And that's all catfish swimming out there in the water. No, people. There's people coming up out, out here with their beach chairs, walking out onto the sandbar up in Area 4. No. I mean, if you don't go in the water, there's nothing out here that's going to hurt you on the beach. But it's just such an unpleasant sight. I mean, look at the dead crabs. There's one over here. A big one over there, all little dead crabs all over the place. Dead fish floating out in the water. What is that down there? Another, I don't know what kind of fish that is. That's what the crabs are eating, stuff like that. All the eels swimming around it. There's a big flounder here on the beach, up on the shore. That's a, a, there's actually, I know this is hard to see here. There's three flounders right here. Get away from me, you darn eel. There's a flounder buried right there. That eel just swam over it. You can barely, you can just see its outline there. There's a little flounder there. And there's another flounder right there. Three flounders. See them? They've camouflaged themselves very well. 
and they are just all along the shoreline as well here. And I just have never seen the beach like this before, never. In the three years that I've been coming out doing these beach walks, I've never seen flounder like this, the amount of eels and the amount of crabs along the shoreline and dead on the beach as I'm seeing now. And yes, there's people walking on the beach. It doesn't surprise me though. It does not surprise me. Definitely not tourists. They're not out here looking to sunbathe. Okay, now out in the water, I'm starting to see some different types of dead fish. Down to the south was just about all bat fish. Now I'm starting to see some other fish. Our rangers are up at the north end of the beach here. Probably not a good sign. Not a good sign when our rangers are showing up together. I hope nothing. There's a lot of people up the beach looking at something. Quite a ways up there. Three rangers, four rangers up there checking something out. I'm not going to get up there in time to see what it is. They're way up the beach, way up by those trees up there. This morning we started down at area one at the very south end of the park. I wasn't gonna come out for a long time, but here I am, three quarters of the way up the beach already. I hope it's not a sea turtle or a dolphin. They're picking something up. I hope it's not baby turtles. They've got buckets. There's a little tricolored heron. I'm trying to get up the beach to see what the rangers are collecting here. They're all out in the water. Please don't be dead, baby turtles. I'm trying to get up there as fast as I can, but I'm an old man. I'm trying to earn those donations that a couple people sent. They might just, hopefully they might just be picking up a bunch of trash. They've all got buckets. Maybe they're picking up dead fish. Maybe they just decided to start at the north end of the beach picking up dead fish. And that's fine with me. if you can see them there. They got their five gallon plastic buckets and their little grabbing tools like you use for picking up trash. I don't see anything large, thank God. 
Thank God there's no dolphins or dead turtles washed up on the beach here. Hey Mark, Susan. How are we doing up here with fish on the beach? I mean, stop for any shelling. Well, we're up in four, area four now. I trucked up here. Still dead fish on the beach up here. Here's a dead puffer fish over here. Still seeing the dead bat fish. Oh, look at, you know, I was, we were watching the birds feeding up here at the park and on all the little fingerlings, look at this. This is all the dead little new fingerling, the little hatchlings that those birds were eating. Look at that, just piles of them along the beach here. Horrible. Seashells? Yeah, there's some sea seashells. <laughs> I wasn't even looking for seashells. Look at that. An apple murex. Beautiful. The figures. Beautiful apple murex. <laughs> a horse conch. Look at that. A horse conch shell. An apple murex and a horse conch. I'm not even, I wasn't even concerned about shelling this morning. Two really nice little shells. Right here, side by side. I don't think anybody cares about shelling. <laughs> a lightning whelk. Look at that, a horse conch. An apple murex, a lightning whelk. Just right here, right here in a pile, out in the open. Incredible. And then what else do we have? Of course, we got the eels, the dead eels, washing up on the beach. The flounder fish. The flounders washing up on the beach. Barely alive. This one, barely, barely alive. Come on, get back in the water. They're so slimy. Flounders all over. Little baby flounders here. See them? One, two, three. There's one buried in the sand. See? Little baby flounder fish. Incredible. Batfish, dead batfish. Our rangers up here doing the best they can to clean things up. Crabs washing up on the beach. Thank you, red tide. It's another dead crab. So, so sad. The eels, I don't know, they're just beaching themselves and dying. Horrible, a horrible morning at the beach. That's for darn sure. This is our new park manager up here, Terry. Got two rangers and a volunteer up here. Just look at all the eels out here in the water. Look at them all. Good morning, sir. Hey. So, who can tell me why we have so many eels? Who knows well, the we're answer? We're not sure, and we're, we're actually confused because a lot of the ones that we pick up off the beach, They're alive. They're alive. It's like they're beaching themselves here. Yeah, so we're, we're confused whether we're doing them a favor by, by putting them, them in the water. Yeah. I know, that's what I, I didn't put them back. I'm like, I think we're just sentencing them to death if we put them in the water. Yeah, yeah. so we're, we're at a little conundrum here. And a lot of them... They're buried. All you see is their head sticking out. You know, yes. they're burying themselves in the sand along the beach. But they're coming up on the beach and yeah, burying they're coming, themselves. They're coming back. Look at it growing. So yep. 
and, and, the, and you see all the crabs. Yeah, too. and flounder. There's yeah, flounder. flounders all along the beach. I mean, it's really bad down in one. All right. All the way down at the very end down there. Yeah, that's why I started. But then <laughs> I was wondering, am I, am I helping these fish? I know. <laughs> I saw you guys up here, and I'm like, oh, no. I saw everybody kind of converging, and I thought yeah. something bad was going on. I'm like, oh, no, please. Yeah, yeah we're just God. wondering what to do with the live fish. It's horrible. Yeah. Hey, just so you guys know, Roy went home yesterday. Okay. Awesome. Roy is at home. Good for him. But he, Good for him. he's not supposed to be out here. All right. And Our, we got a note. Yeah, him, call man. me if he... I shouldn't be telling. Let him know. <laughs> <laughs> he, he might try to... He's not supposed to be driving either. Okay. That's the big concern. I mean, he's not supposed to be driving. And with the red tide, definitely not yeah. supposed to be out here. But yeah. it's killing him. <laughs> uh, well, guys, not a fun morning. No. I just hate seeing this out here. You, you know the, 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 the fish with the wings? The bat fish. Yeah, those, okay, yeah. those are incredible looking fish. They are. That is pretty neat. And they're, again, that's, that's, what's, all over. That's, all, that's what's all dead. Floating out in the water. It's all these, it's hit, it hit these bat fish for some reason. And shrimp. Yeah, There's that's shrimp. Right. That's the first time I ever saw, this is the first time I've seen dead shrimp all along this the beach. This is my first yeah. time too. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're hoping at least, at least people will wake up. You know, the, That's why I do this. You know, I hope when my people, the more people that see this, hopefully somebody will figure out a way to solve this red tide problem someday. Yeah. I mean, we've been dealing with it forever, but we solve other problems. Hopefully we can solve this one. Exactly. <laughs> Look at that. That's like a carpet of crabs. All these. Yeah, uh, for a second, it almost like the algae. Yeah. The red algae. It, 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 that, that is not algae, folks, in the water. That is crabs. Yeah. That is all little baby crabs out there in the water. And eels. You see all the eels swimming around. And like we were saying earlier, the rangers, are we doing the right thing? Picking the eels up and tossing them back in the water? Are we just throwing them into, is it a death sentence? Who knows? And shrimp. I have never, ever seen shrimp like this on the beach. Dead shrimp all over. Little baby shrimp. This red tide is wiping out everything. All different species of little crabs. Here's one crawling along. Right down there, he was crawling along. There's a little one. All kinds of crabs on the beach. It is not a glorious day in paradise. I can tell you that right now. Not a glorious day in paradise. But don't get this, please don't get what's happening here mixed up with what's going on to the north of us with that blue-green algae and the lake overleases. Don't get that mixed up with this red tide. People are so quick to blame the lake O. Does it pollute this water? Who knows? Is there blue-green algae out here? No, not here, not this far south. This is red tide causing this. Learn about all the things, the bacterias and everything that are out here lurking in this water. They're out here trying to get you. They got our friend Roy. Flesh-eating bacteria got Roy. He almost lost his leg. 93-year-old man went out here swimming against everybody's better judgment, trying to tell him not to. Stubborn, 93, went out here swimming with an open wound, contracted the flesh-eating bacteria. He almost lost his leg. Fortunately, he is recovering. God bless. I can't wait for him to be back out here with us, sharing his stories. Good old Roy. I'm gonna... As I make my way back down here, I'm going to walk out onto the sandbar. 
and keep my eyes open for some seashells. I actually found a couple really nice seashells just a little while ago. There's still some beauty out here. You just gotta look for it. There's a nice little turkey wing shell. That's a great looking little turkey wing. Awesome little turkey wing shell. But I don't think because of the red tide, anybody's been out here shelling. And all, oh, it's almost piled on top of each other. I was not even looking. I was racing down to see what the rangers were doing and bam, I found a nice little apple murex, a little horse conch and a lightning whelk, almost piled up in the same spot. I'm like, well, thank you, Lord, for rewarding me to, for coming out here. <laughs> Any more interesting shells down here while I'm here? This is right where I found them, right in this little pile. Yep, the dolphins are right over here. The dolphins just came up over here. One dolphin swimming along over here, making his way south, right out here. It's kind of hanging offshore. Yeah. Yep. Now he's getting further away. Now there's a couple of them. It's gonna be hard to see here with the light. Out there, they're making the. There was a. That's that same pod. It's gonna be really hard to see. They're pretty far away from me right now. Let me see if I can get in a little closer. Maybe we'll see one pop up out there. See their fin just barely sticking out of the water. I don't think you can see them. It's so dark. The water is so dark. They're making their way back down the beach. We got a great look at them this morning. You'll definitely want to watch. There's one, two, three. There's looks like five of them out there playing. You'll definitely want to check out this morning's video. We got a good look at them swimming up shore right in the beginning of our beach walk this morning. Ugh. Red tide taking its toll here, folks. Absolutely disgusting. Here is a large flounder here. That's a big flounder right there, dead flounder. Ugh. Crab here, barely alive. Nice little lightning whelk shell. Poor dead crab and a beautiful lightning whelk shell. Crab on its way to dying. Beautiful little auger shell. All the beauty mixed in with all his death. Ugh. All the eels. I mean, this is just incredible. This looks like seaweed out here. This is all crabs along the beach. Why are all the crabs up here? Why are all the crabs up here? This is all crabs, all crabs. Dead eels on the beach, dead fish. Little eels here, that's a dead bat fish. All killed by red tide.
Not a very good tourism video, is it? <laughs> Who cares? I would rather see our waters get attention and get cleaned up than promote tourism. That's for darn sure. There's a dying bat fish right there on the beach. Beautiful fish. Dying. Suffocating from the red tide. Nothing you can do to nothing you can do for it. You can't breathe. Such a sad, sad sight. Just knowing there's nothing you can do for these fish. Piece of a beautiful tulip shell right next to it. Piece of a broken tulip, a beautiful shell right next to a dying bat fish. How sad. Another, looks like another little dying leopard crab. The calico crab. The leopard crab, beautiful little crabs, dying. So sad. They are such neat, neat little, neat little crabs. Beautiful little shells. What are we gonna do to combat this red tide? Just killing all our marine life. It's heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking, seeing all of the, the dead marine life on the beach. Our water is so dirty today. Our park rangers trying to save what they can, picking up the dead fish. Not a glorious morning. Pretty solemn sight. Not a pleasant job. And that's how they do it here at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. They collect all the dead fish by hand. No fancy machines to clean up the beaches here. Hand labor, Our park staff and volunteers. Always looking for volunteers out here, too. So many, so many dead fish on the beach and eels. We have seen so many dead eels this morning. They're just coming up on the beach and dying. Look at them all out here, dead on the bottom. Just rolling around in the tide. Dead fish. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, pretty cool. Look at that. Ugh. Oh, bucket. 
Look at that, folks. That's just one bucket. One bucket. That's just one five gallon bucket of many. And that's pretty much all batfish in there. There's an image. There's an image to share. I'll tell you what, that gets the point across. Not a pretty sight. Hey, thanks for helping out here. You're welcome. You know, it's not a pleasant thanks job. For spread the word. It's a, not a pleasant job, but hopefully no, people see this uh, and but, all it yeah. takes is one person, the right person, you know, to right. make a difference. And, we all try and do our best. Yep. Man. It's just so sad. Counts, it just it breaks my heart seeing my beach like this. I know. Look at, oh, look at all these fish here. Do you know what kind of fish that is? Is that a, is that a toad fish? Is there such thing as a toad fish? It looks like a toad. Any idea what that is? No, no, no. no that's one of those um, wing fish. A lion fish? No, it doesn't. It's still alive. They're all, I mean, they're just slowly suffocating. It is so sad. So sad. There was a lot of them on the beach too, unfortunately. Ugh. Yeah, a uh, toad fish. A toad fish? Yep. How'd you do that? You got a, an app? Yep. Uh, Google Assistant. Google Assistant? Yeah. And you just snapped the picture of that. And it tells me tells me what it is. A toad fish. Well, that yeah. is very cool. Well, I'm going to definitely get that. A toad fish. Very ugly fish. Sad to see it dying, though. Well... I guess we hit yep so sad it's just sad when you know you can't do anything about it yeah yeah you know, there's nothing you can do to help these things that are dying put them back in the water and it's just a death sentence all dead fish Puffer fish over here. You see the striped fish, those are puffer fish. A little bit of everything here. Sad flounders, puffers. Looks like some snapper. Some catfish, batfish. Ugh. sad. Huh. I'm going to start making my way back down the beach. I got a long walk ahead of me here. Sure hope these birds aren't eating these dead fish. We don't want to see dead birds on the beach. all the dead fish if you haven't figured it out by now yes red tide is back definitely back in north naples they're saying it's low low concentrations i think they might want to rethink what's going on here we've just seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of eels washed up on the beach Another, another of my favorite little crabs dying here on the beach. A leopard crab. This is one of my favorite crabs, the calico crab, also called a leopard crab. It is a little baby. 
Sadly, it's dying. What a shame. We've seen several of these on the beach this morning. What a shame. An upside down batfish. So much death. The leopard crab's trying to crawl away there. Dead eel. The leopard's missing one of its claws. Ugh. The water just teeming, teeming with crabs, teeming. All those black spots are crabs, batfish, flounders. I really, I'm sorry if you don't like seeing this stuff, but I'm not out here to, I've said this several times this morning. I am not out here to promote tourism. Nobody's paying me to promote tourism out here. I'm out here to tell it like it is. Nobody pays me to be out here, period. Occasionally, some great folks do make a little donation, a little contribution. I always post my PayPal account here in the, des the description of this video. And there are some kind people that make a little contribution once in a while, and I really, really appreciate that. It definitely helps out. Wait, there's a whole school of batfish right there. All dying. Here's two huge flounders. These are the biggest ones I've seen so far. These are good 12 to 14 inch flounders down here. Two of them. Two of them right down here at my feet. I'm stopping. I'm sorry. I'm stopping and taking pictures of these things as I see them. That's what the interruptions are. I really apologize, but... Ugh. All these fish swimming around here, knowing, I just know they're going to be dead here soon. They're slowly dying. Slowly dying. What is the fate of our beach? What is the fate of Florida? Is our tourism industry gonna crash and burn? You know, maybe if our tourist industry does crash and burn, that'll help get things done here, help get some changes. And I am definitely not that naive or ignorant to believe that anything can happen overnight here. And unfortunately, this is my opinion, this is my Facebook page. I mean, I don't believe a word that comes out of any politician's mouth anymore. I think they're all full of bull. They'll say anything to get elected to office. But when it comes down to it, I think they're all full of crap. Both sides of the part, both parties, we've had plenty of time to take care of these water issues that we're having and nothing's been done. All of a sudden it's election time and boy, now it's on top of the pile. Big concern, everybody's concerned all of a sudden at election time. Typical government BS. I can't 
believe there's birds walking the beach out here. You know, I think it's crabs. I think a lot of these crabs out here are mating. There's a couple of them right down here. I believe it might be mating season. Might be a, one reason why we're seeing so many crabs along the shoreline. You can see a little flounder there behind the crab. Those are blue crabs, and I'm pretty sure they're making whoopee there. <laughs> I don't think they're, one's giving the other one a ride around the beach. Yeah. Blue crabs, but the beach is just covered with them. There's a couple little catfish swimming by there. We saw some pretty large schools of catfish. Of course, they're the vacuum, vacuum cleaners of the Gulf here. They eat all the dead stuff that's floated to the bottom. got quite a few views this morning on during this morning's beach walk it's amazing when it's beautiful out here you know we get a hundred or so live viewers at a time watching throughout the video but then when we get in come to a morning like this that's horrible we get piles of viewers we had 600 and something viewers going there a little while ago it was crazy I don't even bother. I, I don't. I can't read the comments when I'm out here at the beach, and I can't go back and read all the comments from today's video. I'm sure there were a lot of good comments, but there's always those people that make stupid comments. They're not really educated about the facts, and they make really dumb comments. And I just, I just urge people. I beg people when they watch these videos, please educate yourself about. Get all the facts. Don't go to one website and read up about something. Don't go to your favorite website. I mean, that's just like believing the news nowadays. You, The news caters to its audience. You want to hear the news the way you want to hear it? You know, watch CNN or watch Fox. That's not news anymore. It's garbage. So don't just go to one, one website and read up on red tide or the blue-green algae or about flesh-eating bacteria. Go to multiple websites and read up on it. Then start drawing your own conclusions. I mean, every article you read is biased somehow. So that's why you gotta absorb as many facts as possible. Another, another big, large school of catfish out here. See him? Right out here. A dead flounder. That white thing, that's a dead flounder on its back, upside down. These are all catfish swimming around here. Smell the, definitely smell the dead fish on the beach. Some dead, that's the dead permit over there. Oh. Well, I'm glad to see these birds are not eating the dead fish. The seagulls are just walking right by the dead fish, thankfully. That's the last thing I want to see is dead birds all over. I know we're having some issues with dead birds, especially up to the north. Much worse to the north of us. Dead dolphins, manatees, birds, sea turtles. Getting hit much harder to the north of us. Here's another eel dying on the beach. Eels. 
by the thousands beaching themselves this morning and dying. By the thousands. Horrible. Little crab crawling around by it. What a terrible sight. Nothing can do nothing to save them. Put them in the water, you're just throwing them in to die. What do you do? That's all crabs. All those dark spots are crabs. A couple of catfish swimming by there. Crabs swimming out. There's some pretty large crabs here too. I'm just gonna keep showing you this and showing you this and showing you this. And hopefully the right person's gonna get on here. And it's just gonna make the right person mad. And... Aaron Brockovich. Oh, everybody's hero. What is she gonna do? Everybody's, yay, Aaron, coming to Southwest Florida. Woo! I hope she does something. I don't know if you can see all the catfish. Just a huge school of them just came right up on the beach here. They're just ahead of me right out here. See them jumping? It's sad. It's neat seeing live fish out here in the water, but they're here to eat the dead fish. The dead fish that are rotting on the bottom. And sadly, because they're eating them, they're probably gonna die too. What a mess, huh? What a mess. Another eel just writhing on the beach here. You don't need to be out here eating any of these fish, you little snowy egret. You need to go away. This is not a good place for you this morning. Such beautiful little birds. No, 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 don't be eating any of those fish. Just looking at a crab. Ugh, it ate a little fish. There's a catfish dying right there, right there. See it washing up, it's suffocating. Right there in front of us. They get disoriented. And they wind up, a lot of them just beaching themselves, swimming right up on the beach. Eels, see the eels? They bury themselves in the sand. This one's half buried in the sand. Horrible. Well, I don't think the story's gonna get any better as I walk down the beach. We pretty much walked, I'd say, four-fifths of the beach this morning. We walked up to area five, to the north end of area four. And pretty much Saw the same sights all the way along the beach. Dead eels, dead flounder, dead batfish, big schools of catfish swimming along, eating the dead fish on the bottom.
how long before all these beautiful fish are dead that we're seeing here. Look at all these flounder. These are all flounder. See, they're pretty well camouflaged. Flounder, flounder. Look at them all. Flounder, there's just flounder everywhere, all over here. Here's two big flounder right here. One, two, big flounder. How long before they're dead? There's a big eel. A big eel just washing up. As, I'm just amazed that we saw dolphins out here this morning. Amazed. I mean, look at the color of the water. It is just disgusting out here right now. What does it look like down to the south of us? Down towards Clam Pass, Doctors Pass, Gordon Pass, the Naples Pier. What does it look like out there, down there? I hope it's not as bad as it is up here. I'm sure it gets worse the farther north you go. That's at least that's what they say. the white things that's dead fish floating on the top all the little white spots in the water there's lots of dead fish out in the just offshore floating in So sad. Why are we seeing all these eels? Swim on the up on the beach here and die. They're just washing up the eels, just washing up on the beach and dying. Oh, what a terrible, 
and strange sight. I have no answer for the eels or the crabs. Just the incredible amount of crabs. There's a weird looking eel. That's a really skinny long one. Woo, came right up at my feet there. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like snakes and eels. <laughs> well. Ugh, terrible. And I have never, the beach is covered with dead shrimp. I've never seen dead shrimp along the beach. There's little baby shrimp, dead shrimp, all along the beach. This is, that is a first for me. Everything here, all these crabs, the eels, the shrimp, never have seen that before in the three years that I've been coming out here, but these are just all little baby shrimp, this size, all dead, killed by the red tide. Definitely all the bottom feeders. It's the red tide is taking its toll on the bottom feeders. The crabs, another blue crab washed up on the beach. They're everywhere. <sighs> what a sobering beach walk. Definitely, you definitely got to see the other side of our beach this morning. I did too. I've seen some things that I've never seen before out here. I always say you never know what you're gonna see when you come out to the beach in the morning. Well, I rest my case. It's just incredible. You go back, watch the beginning of this morning's beach walk. As I was walking out that boardwalk, the sky was just incredible. Absolutely gorgeous as I made my way out towards the beach. And then when I got to the beach, oh, what a horrible discovery. I just right away, I saw dead eels. Eels washing themselves up on the beach. Then I looked in the water, crabs, as far as you could see. What were they doing here? Then I looked closer dead flounder oh. and then I look up and there's a pod of five dolphins swimming up the beach so we got a look at some dolphins this morning that was kind of nice we saw some beautiful clouds this morning but then after that It's all the dead marine life and the dying marine life because of this horrible red algae, red tide. I just, still as I walk along, still, Dead fish floating out in the water. The eels washing up on the beach. Terrible. 
Well, I am getting a low battery warning here. I'm gonna have to sign off. I wanna thank everybody for watching. Please share the video. Remember, educate yourself about red tide, about all the problems we have with our water here. We've got several different things going on here. Take the time to educate yourself about all of them. Share your knowledge. Hopefully, someday things will change. Maybe we'll get lucky and maybe even find a solution to red tide. That would be incredible. Just a quick reminder. I'm out here on my own accord. Nobody pays me to come out and do these updates. I hope they help some people. I hope you learned something from my videos. And if anybody wants to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post at the conclusion of this live feed. I will also post the higher quality version of this video on YouTube and I'll post a link to it on Facebook. You can watch it on YouTube as well. I'm gonna turn around and give you one more look up our empty beach on a Saturday morning. A beach that would normally be full of people. It's actually some diehards coming out here, setting up their chairs and umbrellas, but nobody's gonna be going swimming, that's for darn sure. A lot of people curious to see what things look like. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos here. A lot of happier times, especially me and my friend Roy, our beach friend Roy, we've had some good times out here watching dolphins, some great dolphin videos here. It's a beautiful park. The tide will turn here, believe me. We won't be dealing with this red tide forever. One of these days we'll get back to normal, God willing. But for now, have a safe, a wonderful weekend have a happy saturday wherever you might be watching from for southwest florida television i'm rob stan god bless